Now, glycogen phosphorylase um, is an interesting enzyme in the way that it breaks glycogen down. Many molecules, uh, like sugars and so forth, are broken down by hydrolysis using water uh, to break bonds. Glycogen phosphorylase does not use water. Instead, it uses phosphate, as you can see here. And so this is, instead of being called a hydrolysis, is called a phosphorolysis. Now, that's not just a, an important thing of nomenclature, but rather it actually is saving the cell energy, as we shall see. The phosphorolysis of glycogen results in production of a molecule called glucose 1-phosphate that you can see on the lower left, and a glycogen that's been reduced by one residue. So what has happened in this catalytic action is that the enzyme has broken the bond, the 1-4 bond, between the end of a glycogen chain. Now, it's important to recognize that glycogen phosphorylase works only on ends. It doesn't cut in the middle, it works on ends, and it sequentially chews its way into a glycogen. So one of the reasons that the branch branchedness, as it were, of glycogen is important is because that the more ends there are, the more glycogen phosphorylases can start on ends and sequentially release a tremendous amount of glucose very quickly.